I am going to get to try it. And here's the thing, Scott. When Tess was out here, these two were already part of the program. They are graduating this year. Look at when you see them wearing that suit. That means they are already pilots. The other two we're going to show you are on their way to get there. I'm going to have a retired Lieutenant Colonel Bones here introduce them as well. But here's the thing. In order to get to this position here, to have a machine like that, it took a lot of people to kind of make this happen. And you want to turn around and say thank them because this is an experience that's going to last them a lifetime. Yeah, there's a lot of people to thank. Uh, first off, on the command at uh, Space Force Junior ROTC. We're still funded by the Air Force, and the Air Force has funded this program um, to get more kids interested in aviation. There's no service obligation. You know, they can get their pilot license before they get their driver's license. Um, we, we've, through the last five years, we've gotten about 18 scholarships. About half of them have gone into the military with our ROTC scholarships. Um, but in case I miss anything today or people are interested, please go to pvschools.net and you'll find out how the district and how the school supports uh, excellence in education. Uh, but with me, I've got Cadet JC Justice. She's an applicant this year, so she's looking to go to the military academy out at West Point. Uh, you have Cadets uh, Sam Round. She's actually the commander of the unit. We have about 120 cadets this year. And then you have Cadet Dane uh, uh, Strong, who also graduated this year with his pilot's license, and we also have Elizabeth Hall, who's applying for the uh, scholarship as well this year. All right, I'm going to have her start her final descent out here, and as she does this, uh, you got into the program this year. Is this everything you thought it was going to be, and then some? I mean, how is it that you're going to get into jump into a hundred and fifty thousand dollar simulator to really get you ready to fly? Yeah, it's a fantastic program to try learning how to fly a plane test out the instruments and really get a feel for flying without any of the additional risks of flying a real plane. And then to already be past it to get your license. Now, let me ask you this. Did you get your license, a pilot license, before you got your driver's license? I did not, but we did have a cadet that did beforehand last year, and it was, it was a pretty cool thing to do. But it's a great opportunity that the Air Force provides for us, and it's definitely really cool to be, you know, 17 and say that you already have your pilot's license. And to help the, the rest out that are coming in, the students that are coming back in, you now get to turn around and help them out and be a part of it as well. Yes. So my goal with the, as in charge of the aviation department here, my goal with a ground school and the flight simulator is help uh, cadets excel past their, uh, their peers in the flight school so they could possibly even finish early and get other ratings like I did at my flight school. All right. And then the other thing is, is you wanted to thank CTE because without them giving up the money to have to do something like this. I mean, uh, as I mentioned, I started a radio TV class 30 years ago, 30 plus years ago, and I'm still in it. I can only imagine what these guys are going to be doing in a couple of years. Right. Uh, one day CTE came and asked us, hey, what, you know, gave us a wish list. And I told, well, that's dangerous asking a retired military guy. I said, I'd <laughs> like to have a flight simulator. I said, OK, we'll go find one. I said, you know, what's the limit? And we found this from Redbird Flight Simulators, which is the best in the nation. So they were able to find us about $150,000 grant to get us this full motion flight simulator. All right, well, I'm going to go be a wingman in here. If you don't mind, I'm going to try to do my best out here. And uh, the, the key here is to try to get us home safe. Yes. Um, Are you nervous? A little bit. Because I don't know how to fly. No, you should be nervous <laughs> because of me. And, and what, do we, what do I need to do here? Um, should so, I pull out my phone and text? Uh, definitely not. <laughs> All right. So... What you can do is put your feet on the rudder pedals there. All right, as she's, as she's getting me ready to, to kind of bring this in home, guys, I don't want you to see how it ends because I know she's okay with it. But what I do with it, Scott, look, my no hands, and I'm still coming in. I, should, I shouldn't do that, right? I have a feeling I all know right, how this I, is Scott, gonna I'll let up. you guys take it back. Scott, I know you know all about these instruments. Now, where are the tunes in this thing? No tunes? Oh, okay. All right, let's bring it in. Let's bring her in. What do we got here? Push down on Okay, I'm pushing. I'm afraid he's going to have a blast. A the cool thing when you get your pilot's license, a training on a sim is acceptable for part of your training. Oh, nice. So I've done a lot of that. It is amazing they have one of these. Yeah, it sure is. I'm so lucky. Let her do the oh. flying, Gib. You want to <laughs> survive. <laughs>